Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salaam Khan here. And today we see uh, we obtain a logic expression from the given multiplexers diagram. Okay. So today's topic is what a uh, logical uh, expression from multiplexer. All right. Uh, we see this directly through an example, right? These are simple things, and I believe this is the last thing that we have to cover with the multiplexer, all right? So, let's say we have an example. We have, for example, uh, a, a, a multiplexer is given like this. Uh, this is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer with two select lines. They are called A and B. And the four inputs uh, are like this. Uh, okay. And this is your single output. Now you have to you have to uh, obtain the logical expression, the final expression for y. Okay, for this function y. Now from the truth table, let's say we draw the truth table over here about the select lines S1 and S0 and for, uh, the answer is Y so we have 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and you know we have I0 I1 I2 and I3 now for this specific case this S1 and S0 they are what they are A and B and the uh, uh, and the output is what? So I draw it over here. We have A, we have B, and the output is let's say Y. So if you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, these are the four input combinations then. Now you know if the 0, 0 is a select line is 0, 0, so the very first one is selected, and that's what? That's a C. Now if it's a 0, 1, the second is selected, and that's also a C. And if the third one is 0, 1, the 1, 0 combination, so we have the third one selected, which is a 1. And if you have the last combination, that is 1, 1, so the fourth is selected, and that's a 0. That is, you know, from the basics. And now you also know how to write, how to write an expression from the given table. All right? So let me help you writing it. So y would be equal to what? A complement, B complement, C plus or a complement b c or a b complement into one or you have a zero so you don't need to write it you have an a you have a b you have a zero this will then turn out to be zero now you have y equal to a complement b complement c plus a complement b c or with a b complement a complement C is common in these two. So you have an A complement C, you have a B plus B complement remaining, or with an A, B complement. Now you know A, a B or with a B complement is 1, and A complement C ended with a 1 is again A complement C. So finally you have an A complement C or with A, B complement. Now this is the final logic expression of this particular multiplexer diagram. Okay, let's see we have another example. Oh, we have another example. Let's say we're given this multiplexer. Again, a 4 cross 1 multiplexer, let's say. 4 cross 1. So you have uh, 4 inputs and 2 select lines. Now the select lines are again represented by A and B. And the inputs are, let's say, this is a C complement, and it's given to this over here also. And this is a C, and you have an output, let's say, Y. Now what to do in this case? So you draw the truth table again. You have A, B, and then you have Y. All right, so you have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now have a look. In the first two, we have C complement, then you have a C. All right. So now, if you have a look, if you have a look, this thing, this function y, is only depending on a. All right. 
Now, if this A is 0, we have what? We have C complement. And when this A is 1, so we have a C. Alright? So, I can write it down directly as what? As an A complement, C complement, or with an AC. And you know that this is the exclusive NOR operation, so the, so the so the logical expression for this diagram can directly be written as like this, A exclusive node with C. Or if you don't want to write it like this, you want to write it stepwise, so you can write it again like this, that Y is equal to A complement, B complement, C complement, or with an A complement, B, C complement, or with a A, B complement, C, uh, and finally or with uh, A, B and C. Alright? Okay. Now you have an A complement, C complement common in the first two. So A complement, C complement and B plus B complement remains. And in the second you have an A, C common. So you have an A, C common and again B complement plus B remains. Now we are using again and again this property, so you need to rem remember that B plus B complement is 1 and A and it with a 1 is A, okay? These are the two most widely used. So finally this Y would be A complement C complement plus A C and we have reached this step again, which means that Y is A exclusive North C. So that is as simple as it looks, all right? And that's all about this lecture, logical expression obtaining from the multiplexer diagram, all right? And I believe that's all about the multiplexers as well. We start demultiplexers in the next lecture. So see you over there very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.